is going on guys it is rexy here today we are back once again with another one versus one ranked duel unfortunately the sound does not seem to be working in this video so i thought i would just do some some nonchalant just casual commentary over this so essentially this game i am playing thanatos um, as some of you may know, I I recently got number one Thanatos. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, let me let me let me skip ahead a little bit here. So I I uh I get the red buff. Yeah, I I oh oh I hate Windows Eleven. I re I, I really hate I really hate Windows Eleven. Um, and basically I'm against the number one King Arthur. You know, like I'm having a good time. We're both purple. Purple borders. I'm nine and one, nine and two, at this point when I am uh, when I am playing against this person, and I I'm doing very well. I, I got the red buff. I secured the red buff as you know I should, because you know I I'm Thanatos. You know, like I I excel at the early the early game. One could say that the 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 early game is the. Uh, the most important part in terms of uh, playing Thanatos. So, you know, like, I, I, I focus, I, I try and focus my best. As I can see, the Arthur is backing. I see him go back to base, and you know what? I think I want to get his blue. I want to get his blue. So, I, I'm going to get his blue. I'm going to get his blue right now. You know, we're, we're going to quickly take that. Boom. We have all three buffs. At this point, we are doing so well. We have nothing to worry about. Like, look at this. We, we, we could almost back for a full tier transcendence. Look at this. I flick the one. No, not even a big deal. I still have red. Look at the damage I do. Still at a position. All I do is ult, land, and hit the one after I proct. Instead, I decide to three and fucking kill myself. But that, you know, like, it's fine. Everything's okay. You know, like, Thanatos is known for his late game. He's known for the late game. <laughs> he's, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, he's he does he excels from what I've been told. Against a King Arthur with like fifty abilities, like it's fine. Like against the number one in the world, like pfft. it's good that I lost. It's giving us a competitive motive in this match. You know, we're doing good so far. Look at this: three transcendent stacks. That's what I'd like to see. Who needs the one? Not me. Not, look, look, look in my eyes. Not me. You know, we're not even that far behind. Like, we've got every single buff. King Arthur struggles to get the Comets objectives in general. What are we worried about? We have nothing to worry about. Silence is three. We're fine. Oh, he's got another ult. Okay, no, we're not fine, but it, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Like, like we're good to go. Like, it, it, it happens, you know, to the best of us. It doesn't matter. Like, that's just a full wave. We're, we're both fine, you know? It makes sense, you know? Like, regardless if you hit every single ability. Like, we're both, you know, at the top of our game here. Number one King Arthur, number one Thanatos. You can easily, easily tell the difference. We are both on, you know, the same page at this point. We're both, you know, not, you know, worried. So I'm trying to pressure out the King Arthur here. I don't have literally any cooldown because they removed it on Thana, uh, sorry, excuse me, Transcendence for some reason. They decided to do that. Jotun's Vigor just healed him to completely, pretty much full off of that wave, which was, you know, like, it's exciting. I like to see that. I like it when characters, you know, like out sustain me, like when I'm when I'm Thanatos. That like it, it, it makes sense, you know, like like it's season eleven. Like what can you do? So we're gonna back here. We're gonna get second tier defense. Uh, I'm only what five hundred gold down at most right now. I'm really thirsty, as you can see. Gamer subs, code Rexy.
So we're going to fight for this comet. He doesn't look like he's going to fight it because he is actually King Arthur, if you didn't remember. Which makes sense. We still have 0% cooldown right now, unfortunately. King Arthur does not need cooldown, although he has Jotun's. Motherfucker has five abilities, by the way. So I'm going to hit my one ability and run for my life and get absolutely ass railed as I run. That's fine. Prot's Redux. But we're good. We can back for a full tier breastplate. That's what we like to see. Oh my god. Well, I hate Windows 11. <clears throat> okay. So as we move up here, we have a full tier breastplate. We're looking good. We're doing 17 damage and auto attack. We're just gonna chill, you know? Like, how are you doing today, you know? Like, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're enjoying this match. You know, it's a nice and even match where I totally, you know, don't get mad or anything. You know, like, I just walked up and threw a single one. But, you know, I won't get, I won't get, you know, in trouble for that, right? I don't have to, you know, I, you know maybe we have to ult out. Alright, you know, we have to ult out. Just because we walked up. But that's fine. I'm not mad. Look at my eyes. You think I'm mad? I'm not mad at all. We're good. We're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna build into a Hydra's next. I'm debating on whether or not I want to build a beat stick simply because of Jotun's or sorry, Jotun's vigor, whatever the hell it's called. The, uh, the tier 4 of Jotun's, which gives a fuckload of healing. Which, at this point, I I'm thinking about it. So I'll silence them after he ults. Securing ourselves the red, and we're gonna run. And although, you know, I hit everything, we, you know, we might just... We might just fucking die. Oh, no, we're good. We're good to go. Okay, so we're gonna back for second tier Hydra's. We almost lost our life just for a single red buff, because... We only have a select few abilities, unfortunately, Arthur has a, a a vast majority of them. So we're gonna we're gonna run at his ass, but he you know he, he's backing off. It's fine. He's running away. So we're gonna go and just run straight to our blue. Just any farm that we can at this point. We need to make it towards late game. Because unfortunately, I did miss a single one in the early game, and I decided to three before I won. And the man does not seem to ever run out of ultimates. So he had just ulted me, and he just full healed essentially off of that. Ulted me with a tier fucking two somehow, again. Six silence by me, but that is not enough. I am very calm. This is a very reasonable engagement. You know, it, it was fair. It makes sense that I died there. Completely. Uh, I'm not angry about it at all. Like, uh, it was a fair engagement. Good, good, well played by the King Arthur. I, I, we both played to the best of our abilities. Uh, he does get tower here as well. I'm going to stop his back, hit him with a one. Straight into the three. Hit every single ability at this point, as well as Hydra's cancels. Boom, hit him with another one. And I'm gonna fucking die. Okay, alright, I had to beads, unfortunately. I am not upset about this at all. It makes sense. We're good to go. Okay, we'll clear another wave. I am just talking about, like, uh, during my chat, I was talking about how ex excited I was, sorry, about, like, the game that I'm playing. And how enjoyable it was as a Thanatos main during this particular meta. Because you know, it it's just fun to play. Uh, so we're gonna grab Chester here, and we're <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna drop it, and then we're gonna run up. Comet just spawned. We're gonna see if we can make sure he doesn't get that because King Arthur has low attack speed. To be fair, he's very low attack speed. He's got a beat stick online as well for our life steal in general, which was nerfed actually for season eleven. If you had not have known. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm talking about how much I love his build and the fact that he out damages me so hard with uh, two particular items and his uh, eight set of abilities, which is nice. 
I am gonna try and like look at him here and just okay. I watched him grab the red, which I really enjoyed. I was a big fan of that. Missed the one, my only ability that I have going for me, unfortunately. And I get stunned, and I have to literally run for my life. And I make it out, which is nice. I'm very happy about that. I got to live by looking at him, which was sick. I need some penetration because, you know, we're not going to make it past that without penetration based on the base protections of a warrior. So there's no sense in dwelling around that. He's got a beat stick. We're going to get max cooldown once we drop this as well, which is nice. Unfortunately, hit the right minion. Not upset about that at all. We see him place a ward there as he runs around to the side. So all I'm going to do is just run the fuck away. And we have evolved in the fifth or the fourth form, which is nice. So as you can see, I am just ecstatic about the situation that I'm in. Instead of snowballing really hard, which I needed in the early game, I have decided to make this a comeback video that I am never gonna... <clears throat> Leper, I'm trying, to do, I'm trying to do a thing here. Uh, I've decided to, you know, make this a very awesome video where I'm just going to do commentary over it because the audio died. And I was very happy about this game and how it was going the entire time. You know, like we're 0 3. We have 10% penetration against this warrior. I pressed the wrong button there, but I won't tell anyone. It's been nothing but a good time. It, it has. I've really enjoyed myself throughout this entire game. We're going to make sure that he's not on Bull Demon, but he is not on Bull Demon, so we're going to go back to base straight for Serrated. We actually have some penetration now against the behemoth that is King Arthur with 50 abilities. He's going to slowly take that comet. He did not take that comet. So we are good to take this ourselves. Look at how happy I am. I am proud of this. I get the comet all to myself. Now we look as King Arthur has bought, like, I'm assuming a, a potion. I had to hit the silence, even though he missed everything. Boom. Hit it with the two. Hit the silence, auto-cancel, into the one, miss it because I'm an idiot. Run for my life. Alt. Wait for the Aegis. And I missed it. But I hit the one into the two cancel. As you can see, I have ejaculate, or sorry, I have, I'm really happy about what has happened. I have made the match a little more even. Unfortunately, the King Arthur missed one of his 10 ults and I somehow actually had a chance in comparison to his wider range of abilities. And I am a little happy about that. And it was a good time. And I eventually, I get his tower here as well. Get to silence those minions. Now I'm going to run away with my tail between my thighs. My kneecaps, sorry. Now he's got percentage pen himself. We have 2,500 gold after this blue buff, maybe more. Including the wave, we'll make sure that he's not on bull demon as well. As you can see, I am very relaxed, not even focused whatsoever. I see the King Arthur. I'm wondering how his day was, if he's staying hydrated, happy, and healthy like you are today, my friends. This has just been such a good time for me. I've really been enjoying myself. I have not thought about how much I hate this matchup whatsoever. Gilberto just subs were good. I also banned Thanath or sorry, I banned Vamana, I banned Bologna, and one other warrior. And I came with the god with the most most uh, abilities in the game. I hit a sick one.
And just like that, with a little twirl, I have won the game. I am very humble about it. I haven't done anything to deserve it, but it was a very fair match, and it was deserved. And I got a splinter only because of how excited I was that we had such a competitive game. And I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, leave the video a like. If you're in the channel, subscribe. Anyways, I will see you next time, guys. Have a fantastic day.